Hi, come on. <laughs> what are you doing? You don't want me to go? Hi guys, so I'm vlogging today because basically I'm going on a mystery coach tour. I'm traveling with Dolphins Baker or Baker's Dolphin. I think it's Baker's Dolphin. <laughs> it cost me 28 pounds to do this. And basically all I know is, is that I'm traveling with Baker's Dolphin. I'm getting collected at nine o'clock. And that is literally it. I have no idea where we're going. I have no idea when we're coming back. It's all a complete mystery. And this is something that has been on my bucket list for like such a long time. Hopefully it's not too awkward. I'm by myself. So that's why I thought I'd vlog now rather than later. So it's really, really scary. I have no idea where I'm going. Who's going to be sat next to me on the coach? That sort of thing. And surprisingly, the weather's actually really nice. It's a really good day today. So fingers crossed, I don't get rained on and it's a really successful, fun day. It's local to us in Bristol. Um, the company is based in Western Supermare and they do this quite often, like a couple of times in a year. I was gonna do this last year, but I didn't get round to it. So I decided like early on in the year, I'm just gonna do it. I'm really excited. Hope you guys enjoy watching me explore whatever I get up to today in this complete mystery tour. And I'll see you guys on the coach. I always talk really different when people are around, but hopefully that's something I can improve on. But yeah, just took a quick Uber ride into the centre of town. It took me about 15 minutes to get here on a Sunday morning. It's not too bad. It's actually really, really quiet, as you can see around me. I'm just walking to the bus stop where we're going to get collected. I keep saying we. I'm by myself. God's sake. Yeah, really excited. No going back. Um, so yeah, let's go. Gordon Bennett, eh? Oh, I need a warm up act with you lot. Gordon Bennett, right. And finally, there is one golden rule I wish you to follow at all times, and I cannot stipulate this strongly enough. In the unlikelihood of an accident, I'm off first. Okay, so we'll uh, make our way out of Bristol. We get up to the M32 and I will make a decision finally on where we're going. <laughs> so we're just on a comfort break at the moment and I've got a little update for you guys in terms of where we're going. Um, I know where we're not going and that's definitely not Wales, it's definitely not like south and it's definitely not like really high up north. I feel like we're going northeast of England. But again, he could literally change the route any time. He's in charge. The driver is in charge of the situation. We're here for about another 10 minutes and then we're gonna head off to wherever we're going. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed your journey down. So uh, we'll make this the lunchtime break. So uh, some of you apparently are not too uh, happy about coming here. So if everybody could be back on board at half past two, we will continue our journey and we will go to Salisbury for a break. Okay? So half past two, if everybody is back here, half past two, we'll go on to Salisbury. Okay, folks? So we finally arrived in our destination. I am currently in Winchester. A couple of people on the coach weren't happy about our destination, so the driver has agreed that we're gonna be here for two and a half hours. I guess a couple of people have already been here and it's just an experience that they've already done. Personally, I'm really excited because I've never been here before. It's somewhere different. It kind of reminds me of my sister's boyfriend's hometown, Bury St. Edmunds. In the distance, I actually noticed a little mini market. So I'm gonna go and explore, find my feet around Winchester, and hopefully it will be a really nice couple of hours. the little market that the driver mentioned on the coach so I'm just gonna head off towards there 
and show you what they're selling and offering. Whilst I'm here in Winchester, I've decided to pay £10 to explore this amazing cathedral. This is Winchester Cathedral. It's massive. It's full of amazing architecture and lighting. It's just a really, really nice place to come and visit, especially on a Sunday. If you want to pray and attend a service, it's free to come in. But £10 if you just want to kind of explore around, basically. I just thought, whilst I was here for the two hours, I may as well explore a little bit of history of Winchester and a little bit of the older buildings. This building is absolutely stunning. It's just so surreal. If you do get the chance to come to Winchester for whatever reason, definitely worth coming in here and just getting your breath taken by the stunning architecture and the views inside this building. It's just super peaceful. Give yourself a minute to take it all in, sit down and just be amazed by everything this building has to offer. just so much detail in everything and uh, I just was speaking to someone just now and we both agreed like we cannot believe this amount of skill exists within like humanity because nowadays you never see anything built like this not to this detail not to this sort of heart I guess like the heart is just not in it with this sort of building works nowadays and uh, it's quite sad because these things like last forever and so much detail found myself in a little mini exhibition about Winchester Cathedral so it's going to bring you along um, apparently at the top there are some really cool views as well so that'll be really interesting to see is the end of the Winchester Cathedral tour. The cathedral itself doesn't seem to have a lot of garden around actually. I'm quite surprised by that because usually there's like quite a bit of landscape surrounding these sort of big buildings but as you can see there are a couple of um, headstones and tombstones so yeah the garden itself um, surprisingly isn't that big it's actually a really nice peaceful walk i mean really enjoying it the sun's out it's like real spring vibes and all we need now is daffodils and you know it's basically spring <laughs> in the Great Hall grounds. Um, I'm about to enter the basement, which is pretty scary, but we're gonna see 
what's inside. This is what it looks like. So you can actually go underground in this basement. I'm gonna go to the lit area. That seems like the safest place to go for now. Because I'm a big wuss, by the way. If you didn't know, I am a bit of a wuss. Um, so I think it just takes you back out here. Sort of just takes you underneath where I was just now. Doesn't really have a lot about what's going on down here. It's just like a door and I just followed it. So I have no idea about the history or what this area is about. It doesn't seem to be fully open. Um, it just seems to be like a walkway. So we'll move on and find something else that catches my eye. So you can actually enter the Great Hall for four pounds. I'm actually gonna do it because I have an hour left to burn. So yeah, let's go see what's inside the Great Hall. inside the great hall and if you go through a little secret door you end up in a little secret garden so there's a little pond there's some flowers and just a little place to explore as part of your four pound entry fee exploring the great hall it's really really cool the garden's really really pretty i'm gonna head off get a bite to eat and then get back onto the coach before i miss it because no my luck i miss the coach and i'll be stuck here until i can find a way to get home basically <laughs> Winchester has been a really great spot to spend a couple of hours. Um, I've really, really enjoyed it. I've been to the cathedral, I've been through the Great Hall, I've gone and explored through the market and some of the little shops. I do feel like two and a half hours is not enough time to get the full idea here but it's enough time to do those things and i feel like if you are going to come here for a short amount of time and definitely do the cathedral because it's like a really great space and i really really enjoyed it so yeah i'm gonna be heading off back to the coach now and heading off to salisbury i think the coach driver has definitely given us a spin around on what we're doing today so yeah we're gonna be heading off to the coach again and then head off on our next little spot so i'll see you guys wherever we end up Those of you that would like to have a look at the cathedral and the grounds, if you just go back behind us about 100 yards or so through the two wooden gate doors that are on your left hand side and that will take you into, uh, into the cathedral as well. Other than that, if could everybody be back here for 25 to 5 please. So, um, we have just stopped in Salisbury. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I do feel pretty sick from all the traveling and uh, being on the coach for so long, but I'm gonna try and explore the high street and then if I have time, I'm gonna try and uh, walk around the cathedral. So that's the plan for the next hour and a half. architecture and the building layout itself down here reminds me of um laycock abbey in a way it's very similar in the way like they have the little garden here and then the archways that wrap around inside so i'm wondering whether or not it's been designed by the same person because it looks very very similar um to laycock abbey
being honest I've just stumbled across a riverside walk but there doesn't seem to be a major amount of stuff to do here in Salisbury maybe because I haven't actually researched this area before I don't really know like what it's all about basically but yeah I'm just uh trying to burn off the last next hour of this trip because I'm not gonna lie to you I'm absolutely hanging I'm so tired from all the driving today yeah this is like the riverside walk area but there doesn't seem to be a huge amount on the map but I'm just gonna try and find something to explore basically so yeah I can see a big building in the background there up there so I'm gonna try and source that out and find out what that's all about so that building from across the river there is actually another church um, it's called the United Reformed Church I can barely see so I haven't got my glasses but yeah that is the view from over there basically So finally got myself a little bit of food for today. I've got a Beyond Meat burger with some chips, peas and a little additional egg for a bit of protein. Hopefully that will help fuel me for the rest of the afternoon. So that has been everything we got up to today on the Baker's Dolphin mystery tour. I really hope you guys got the gist of the whole day. The driver literally took us for a spin this morning. We had no idea where we were going. We left the motorway like half an hour into the journey and he literally took every single back road you could possibly take to get here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and follow me around on this solo mystery trip. It's been a really good, unique experience. I've met some people, I've had some really cool conversations and at the very at the very least I've visited two new places I've never been before. Um, I've got to explore, I've got to be on my own company. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way today has gone. It's been really, really fun. And the weather's been absolutely amazing and I feel like I've really made the most of every destination we've been to. So yeah, I highly recommend it. And I might even do it again. Since I got off the coach, all I've been doing is walking every single time just to make sure I cover everything I can find. So yeah, I'm heading back to the coach now, heading back to Bristol. So I'll see you guys then. <laughs>